Hey guys, it's Mike. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And um, this is probably going to be one of the shorter videos because it's for February 16th through the 28th. Um, I usually do uh, what sells sales update videos for two week periods and um, February is short. So, um, but there were some pretty decent sales, um, decent amount of, you know, bread and butter as well as some big ticket items. So, um, Thanks again for taking the time to watch. Um, I'm going to jump right into it, and as usual, I'm just going to kind of jump back and forth between the seller hub showing the actual page um, and whether I took a best offer or not, um, and then the, the actual sales page. So um, first item is this Baylands Raceway. This is a raceway that used to be located near me um, in Fremont, California, and i um, I bought this years ago, um, this shirt. It was the very last race before they shut down. The, it was a drag strip. And um, there was, I guess there was a lot of complaints um, from noise and everything. I loved it. Um, spent a lot of time here as a teenager. But basically this shirt has been hanging in my closet since 1986. So a <laughs> very long time. Kind of date myself here. Um, but anyways... Um, I sold it for a um, hundred bucks. Um, not bad for a shirt that I probably paid ten dollars for um, back in 1986, and got it out of my closet. Um, so that was great. Um, and then these are some folding chairs, vintage folding chairs that turn into like a walking stick. Let me see if I can show you. They had some stains and different problems with them. Um, some things missing. But um, they're like a vintage style of um, folding chair. And I actually sold one. Uh, I had three of these. I paid like 20 bucks for three. I sold the first one for like maybe 80 bucks. Um, probably see it in a past video. And then I sold this pair for $189.97 um, plus shipping. So that was pretty awesome. Um, and then if you've seen past videos, you know about the um, uh, beauty salon that went out of business and we purchased a, uh, some, some hair care products and electronics and I've uh, been consistently selling the Kevin Murphy um, products. This one sold for $31.95, this little tiny bottle. Um, we did free shipping because um, it could go first class relatively cheap. And then this is a um, LED light set. They're basically some ash tree branches that somebody hollowed out and put some LED lights. You know, it's like a designer style um, pendant light. And um, I got these at work for free. They were ordered for a project but never installed. So they were given to me and I took a best offer of $300. Um, I believe these things cost... Yeah, fifteen hundred dollars new, and they were basically brand new. Um, so, but they sat for a very, very long time, probably like two and a half years. So that was a kind of a home run. And then um, I went to a uh, estate sale um, where they were selling these um, these photography lights, um, super high end. I guess you can kind of sync them up to, with each other and um, kind of daisy chain them together and then control them remotely. But I I paid uh, $80 a piece for these. And let's see here. Um, so somebody bought a pair of them for $180 a piece. So $360. I was selling them individually, but I did put in the description that I had um, two of them that were identical, and somebody bought the pair of them for, as you can see, uh, 360 bucks uh, plus shipping. So I paid, let's see, 80 and 80 is 160, so I turned 160 into 360. So not a huge profit, but um, percentage-wise, but um, you know, I, I'll put up 180 dollars, or sorry, 160 dollars to gain. $200 on top of that um, any day. And then this was the same uh, estate sale. There was a basket of, 
a bunch of different items and this is the only thing that I wanted from the basket but they were selling the whole basket and so anyways um, I paid probably $25 for the basket and as you can see I took a best offer of $169.95 for this little flash meter it's a light meter for photography use um, showed it working everything worked fine as described so that was pretty awesome and then if you've seen past videos you know that I get I buy um, either damaged or um, obsolete iPhones and Android phones from work where I work full-time and um, I offer you know the trade-in value and I think I probably pay lately I've been paying about 20 to 25 dollars for iPhone 6s with with like screen damage and then turning around and selling them this one is a best offer of hundred and fifteen dollars I probably could have got more but I didn't want to go through the hassle of having the screen fixed and and all that so um, I figured um, you know I could do kind of a fast flip on those and then you've, you've seen past videos you know I have several boxes of these king cards probably up in, in the thousands um, and they sell pretty consistently, um, at least a couple a month or a couple every few weeks. Um, this is kind of the most popular <clears throat> one. Um, the Little Thinker um, sell this greeting card for $9.95. Um, let's see. Yeah, $9.95. Let's see. And then these are a pair of uh, wood footrest stools um, that I picked up at a, an estate sale as well. Um, I believed I paid about 15 bucks for the pair and I did take a best offer of $120. Um, they had some wear, they had some little dings and scratches, um, but um, they're, I guess, they're kind of collectible. So, um, and this is a CD that I bought several years ago, probably at a closeout. Um, at a record store and um, it was basically Dokken and UFO they're two like um, 1980s heavy metal bands um, rock bands and I was able to sell this CD for $39.97 um, plus shipping so that was pretty awesome it was weird because the shipping came out to be like $35 or something like that I ended up uh, refunding the buyer and I said there there must have been a mistake because um, there's no I mean I sent it media mail um, or even first class and you know for like four to five dollars and um, so I said there must be a mistake I didn't want to get any negative feedback for gouging people and then I bought a lot of cameras for gosh like 25 to 30 dollars there was like some vintage cameras. Um, you know, if you look at the video prior to this one, um, I did sell a vintage camera um, setup, and I had they actually um, sent it back, and I gave them a refund because there was like um, some sort of like uh, fungus inside the lenses. Um, so I got to look into how to clean that. But anyways, this little Panasonic Lumix camera, 14.1 megapixel was in that lot um, so I paid $25 for the lot um, it came with four or five ca different cameras some vintage this one was like a modern one I took a best offer of $110 um, it was complete it had the charging cable and everything um, the software the manual the box um, it was really nice uh, nice camera so next up um, this is part of that um, salon um, uh, going out of business uh, uh, liquidation and we had we bought like a whole bunch of these blow pro products um, this sold for 20 bucks I think yeah full, full asking price 1995 plus shipping um, and then this is just like a 99 cent store pickup um, somebody offered four dollars I was like oh, get, get rid of it it was a bad purchase um, my wife probably probably bought like a dozen of these and we've sold like three in the past year or something like that so 
Um, okay, another iPhone. Let's see. This one, same thing, broken glass. Um, so I took a best offer of $103 for that. Uh, paid 20 bucks for it at work. And this is a um, Sony Handycam uh, that I picked up from the Goodwill. Uh, I believe I paid about 20 bucks for this one. It was working, um, good, good condition, powered on. Um, I think it was just the camera and the battery. I don't believe it came with a charger. Let's see here. Um, yeah, camera and battery only. So I was able to test it. Um, and it worked fine. So I sold it for, it looks like $62. So not a huge um, profit, but still a profit nonetheless. And then let's see, I had this HP uh, all-in-one printer. Um, I bought it from a, an estate sale for $5 um, and held it for a pretty long time, probably about a year, and got the full asking price of $89.97 plus shipping. That was pretty nice, pretty nice flip, pretty nice profit. And then I have a whole box of these little tiny parts for cars. This is just like a, a lamp, fog lamp switch um, for a Toyota Tundra or a Lexus. Um, and you know, these sell pretty consistently as well, um, $14.97 um, plus shipping. So nothing exciting, but, you know, just little parts and pieces that kind of feed the pipeline. And then um, that was it for eBay. Like I said, it's a short video. Um, we're just going to jump into Amazon, the Amazon side, Merch Fulfilled. Um, I only um, sell um, Merch Fulfilled because of the... Um, outrageous storage fees at Amazon. If you don't have quick selling items, um, you get charged for storage and it kind of wipes out your profit sometimes. So um, I store this stuff in, in, my, in my garage. Um, anyways, first thing is this um, Disney Hercules um, game for Windows, old and old Windows PC computer game. Um, it sold for $27, um, I believe. Shipping was free, but I sent it media mail. Uh, next thing is this. Uh, let's see, what is this? <laughs> it's just a book. Um, oh, I so I usually pick up books by the box full. Um, I never like pay, you know, like a dollar or less than a book, but I usually pick boxes of books up. So they're like pennies. I usually get them for pennies. Like um, this book sold for ten bucks. Um, it's a like a Christian devotional um, book, and what else? Um, this was I bought a like a box of um, surge protectors, and this is just a regular old surge protector. Protector it was new in the box, and I sold it for thirty four ninety five plus shipping. Um, it's just one of these basic surge protectors. Um, and wow, looks like I got a little bit more than the current price is now. So that was pretty nice. Um, I probably paid a couple of dollars for a box full of surge protectors. Um, they were mostly all used and, and this one was new in the box. So I put this one on Amazon. I sold the rest on eBay as like a big lot. And then this is a Tiki drink um, book that I sold for $21. It was probably part of the, one of those um, uh, lots of books, boxes of books that I picked up at, at an estate sale. And then, um, let's see, what is this? Oh, this is a puzzle. Probably picked it up at the dollar store or a garage sale. I can't remember sometimes. Um, this is stuff that my wife picks up and, uh, we usually put it on Amazon cause pu puzzles usually sell. Um, they're, they're slow. To sell, um, but um, anyways, they, they do usually end up selling. And then this is another one of those um, salon, beauty salon pickups, uh, twenty seven ninety six uh, for the beauty salon that was going out of uh, business. Um, just this little tiny bottle of hydrate hydrating rinse uh, 
Kevin Murphy product and that was pretty nice and not sure why this is showing up again I guess I just um, opened up the tab twice anyways that was it for Amazon and so like I said it's a short video but as you can see there were some pretty nice um, pretty nice sales um, you know some smaller sales and then some home runs mixed in there so um, hope this helped you guys um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and please consider liking and subscribing for um, similar content and if you have any suggestions on how I can make these videos better or more helpful um, I'm open to anything and um, if you made it this far I appreciate your time and uh, hope to uh, hope you hope to see you uh, watching the next video all right thanks a lot guys